This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No, it's just like one of those things that's like... It's been all summer. I've completely detached from sharing my life. I've got bits and pieces here and there, but today is my wedding anniversary, my old wedding anniversary. Today. Today I was supposed to be married for two years and I never thought I was going to be the one that got divorced. I was the one that was supposed to break that, you know? My parents got divorced and my grandparents got divorced and I was supposed to be the one that didn't get divorced. And today's heavy. I have been solo traveling around Europe all summer. <laughs> We have this mental condition. got this donut but it's not a donut it's a flaky donut oh my god <clears throat> what the hell is this <clears throat> wow wait there's like a jelly thing on top it's like orange oh shit it's fire this shit's like dangerously good. <laughs> I love my life. convinced this is why the universe had me obsessed with going to the gym because holy shit this is intense <laughs> this is probably like 35 pounds <laughs> I'm carrying up a hill and it is intense <sighs> this is why I don't feel guilty eating all my treats either <laughs> Alone. And now I like love it. I 
it makes me want to cry. I honestly love hanging out with myself and my own energy. And before I like would avoid it at all costs. And now it's like I crave it. Man. I've come so far. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> all we ever do is laugh it off and I'm sick and I don't know why. You remember that night we met? I thought you looked so fine. Guess we have to agree to disagree for this one last time. Pretty weird that day when we did not exchange our hellos. I wasn't looking out for you. I'm sorry, I'm so shallow. But I'm still looking forward to watching part two of Deathly Hallows with you. Trying to find home within because obviously I lost my home. My home with my person. Someone that was my safe person. And actually yesterday, I was a year from yesterday. Yesterday was a year. <laughs> yesterday marked the year that I found out that there were more women. And it was a heavy day because last year I wasn't able to really fully celebrate my first year wedding anniversary. And now this year I am divorced. And I'm in Switzerland staying with my aunt i've been traveling all summer by myself finding home within and i had this whole image visual journey when i did ayahuasca of me shaving my head and mourning my beauty and today i am shaving my head i am absolutely terrified i'm so scared i don't want to be ugly <laughs> and it sounds so silly but there's so much generational trauma and trauma when it has when it comes to my looks and belonging and my worth and the first thing that comes to my mind is i don't want boys to think i'm ugly and that right there is exactly why i need to do this it's because uh, sorry i'm like a mess right now this is exactly why i need to do it is because my beauty should not be dependent on my hair or my outside looks my beauty should be dependent on my inner beauty, the way I see myself and nurture myself within. And so today I am taking the step of shaving my head and stripping myself of the one thing that I feel like determines my beauty. Anytime I have a bad hair day, I don't feel like I'm pretty. I'm always messing with my hair. I put a lot of effort into my hair and I'm fully getting rid of that aspect of myself. Um, I'm celebrating this day with rebirth, rebirthing me, coming back home to a home that I've never even lived in, and that's my vessel. I've been so detached from my own vessel, and today is the day that I'm making this step, and I'm so nervous. I've been doing so much research. I've been on TikTok watching people shave their head. I have my whole Pinterest board is full of buzzed buzz heads. Like I follow everyone on social media now that has a bunch of buzzed heads. I've really been trying to ease myself into this journey because when I did ayahuasca in April, I had that whole moment where I shaved my head and I mourned my own beauty. And ever since that, I haven't been able to stop thinking about how I need to actually take this step. And today is the day. Today is the day I take this step, and we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> bye bye, hair. You are loved. You're special. You're worthy. Mm. Thanks for joining me. Um, 15, 18, 21, 24, but I do usually the boys like neck three and then six so. on top. You could do a nine if you wanted to start, but it's going to be almost what Miles has right now. If not a little bit longer. Probably more short than how. Uh, I would say probably three. a six. Six. Let's do it. 
but it's short. A six is short. If you want to go with the nine, nope. and then just take it shorter after when we clean it up. Go big or go home. Go shorter. <laughs> yeah. Or you could do a nine to start with. Let me see what it would look like. So like that much. I want it like buzzed. Like, obviously not, but almost, almost. I mean, you see where yeah, the plate is. That's a six. Shorter. And that's a nine. No, shorter. That's a three. That's a three, yeah. All the way, and that's a six. Three. Three all the way. Three all the way. Wow. Yeah, I don't even do boys three all the way. Oh, gosh. I mean, I do their neck, and then I just fade into the and six on top. Yeah, man. That shit short. <laughs> oh, it's going to be crazy. Okay. Do I need to section, section my hair, you think? Or you think it's short enough that I can just... I mean, if you go slow enough. Are you just wanting to do, like, on top by yourself a little yeah, bit? And and then then you'll up. Up. Yeah, yeah. I think if you go slow enough, you can just go for it. Down the middle. Okay. Is it huh. don't don't not feel like this? Are you fine? Yeah, but it's okay. This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ooh, I feel like I'm warm. Okay. No, it's just like one of those things that's like Like one of those things that I can't just think about. Go smaller. I feel like I'm gonna look so bad. <laughs> Okay, you can come with me. <laughs> A bald cap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. 
cute though. <laughs> what it looks like right now though. <laughs> <laughs> She cute. It's like when you pull when you, you pull your hair back. And like a, a headband. Oh, you got a mullet going. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just leave the mullet if you want. Man, so much hair. We definitely should have done this at the very beginning. <laughs> I was pulling the shit out of my hair. <laughs> and your buzzers were like, <laughs> <laughs> like we can't do this. It's going to be cool because now I'm going to remember instead of my wedding anniversary. I'm like, oh my gosh, a year ago today, I shaved my head. There you go. Making new memories. You can still go back. <laughs> I think so. Go back. I'm like, I had it. I had a great, great <laughs> social media break, guys. <laughs> It was amazing. I'm doing fine. I'm fine, guys. Mentally, it was a great time to process. I made a mistake, but it's okay because we accept all things and all images. My scalp isn't as white as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> You are so strong. And I will protect us. I will protect us. <laughs>